They entered it in uh, Cannes, uh, midnight showing, and it won an award. And that was the beginning of it, you know. That was the beginning of what? You know, sort of like, not, not that we felt that we'd done a bad job or anything. It was just that it was like, wow. I mean, it was like gravy. I think Stuart Gordon wanted people with a theater background because uh, Stuart realizes that uh, the people with a theater background will take chances. You know, they'll go, they'll jump over, you know. You know, Stuart pointed out, uh, of course, the adversarial position uh, f for the roles of Dr. Hill and, and Dr. West and, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Hill's belief in the, in the power of the will and Dr. West's belief in the, uh, uh, the, the power of, of uh, uh, the green goop <laughs> and uh, the reanimation process. Uh, and that, you know, you know, he said, for you, David, he's a young snot, you know, snot nosed kid, doesn't know anything, you know, and you know everything. In the scene where uh, uh, Jeffrey breaks pencils, you know, when I'm trying to explain to this class of nincompoops uh, the seat of the brain. You know. And uh, so uh, the breaking of the pencil was in the script, but the timing was in the Jeffrey. Mr. West, I suggest you get yourself a pen. Well, the actual decapitation that, uh, that Dr. West uh, uh, does with a shovel uh, wasn't uncomfortable at all. But from that point on, after my head was rolling around and loose and being carried about and uh, was. Uh, it was a very physical, hard work, uh, day after day. Uh, they'd cut a hole in this big operating table, one of these sort of like steam table, over which they had put a pan and which they put a hole. And then they had to put on a whole neck piece that sort of like, you know, uh, sort of the, the ganglia and all of the flesh hanging down. And then they poured blood on me constantly all day long, uh, this syrupy, sweet, yuck stuff. Uh, you know, that kept getting into the back of my throat. It was very hard to speak. And, and the taste of it was, you know, after a while was, was horrible. It's all right on your, on your pancakes in the morning, but uh, you, you just, just think about it for a moment, you know, this, this, this head of Dr. Hill flying around in Bride of Reanimator with bat wings on. This is the nasty, you know, this is the bad guy. To think that a, a, a supervillain can be only a head is wonderful. I think Reanimator uh, went over the hill. I mean, it went uh, it went past what other horror films were going for. I think Reanimator took it another step further, and and it got to the uh, it got to the theater of the absurd. 